this is Cranio, welcome to episode 38 of my Let's Play, Mass Effect 2, Season 2, and being biotic, playing hardcore difficulty as an adept. Let's see what we can come up with. Uh, assault rifle damage, not usually important to me, but we'll do it. Uh, more accuracy is always good. If we do a Season 3, that might come. I, if we do a season three, uh, let's go expanding fuel cells and I make mean, ship armor. We're starting to run really low on uh, Sure, get that. I'm gonna change our advanced training. I really don't like this fortification color. So, I'm gonna try barrier. And if I don't like this, I'll go to one of the ammo. It's probably warp ammo. We'll go get Jax soon and get warp arm ammo if I don't like that, because warp ammo works on everything. Shepard, how can I help? What's Have up? you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Hmm. What do you know what they do? Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but... Won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. So they don't gain that? But why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social. Reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example. Yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. Um... Uh... What about the timing? Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. How old is he? Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short. Mature rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. Well, good talk. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Helped preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous, problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morton's Solus biography bit. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case, regardless. Thank you. Yeah, I really didn't pay much attention to Morton in the earlier ones. He's a surprisingly robust character. Jacob, on the other hand, less exciting to me. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. That's kind of sad, but let's talk. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay, let's go see what's up with uh, uh, the front of ship. We do need to go and talk to everyone and make sure we got all the upgrades. Maybe I go back and make sure we got more than... I, mean, I know we got more than some. 
we would go just make sure we got all the upgrades. That, um, the stuff with Jacob's dad, it's bullshit, right? Because it looked like bullshit to me. Yes. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Well, we may have gotten everything. I'm gonna... I don't know if I got Jacob's upgrade. So we go touch base with him and make sure we got the upgrade. Then we'll go feed the fish and do some of the stuff like that. Commander, can I help you with something? Uh, no way upgrade. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. Oh, we we'll just talk got that. Commander. Uh, we must have got it when we completed his mission automatically. Yeah, it just offers it to us. I think Morton got a better army tool. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. It's just worth double checking to make sure we get everything. Okay, let's go feed my fish. Fishies. See what hurt. How may I help you, Commander? What's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Uh, That'll be all. I'll be here if you need. Okay. Then into here. Big my fishies. Uh, anything? No. I'm missing a few models. I don't have a picture up at the moment. Hello, dude. Okay. Do you want to go talk to the crew people? Yeah, let's go. We need to. We haven't really touched base with Thane or Samara much, so we'll go do that. Pretty sure Miranda has said everything, but there's no harm in checking with her. Just for fun. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. What a surprise. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. What about your feelings? You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. What about your feelings for Morinth? You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. I don't know if it's hypocritical, but we'll ask for fun. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for a sorry. Yeah, like... Tw that would be like four? Eight. It'd be like an eight-year-old. Because at a hundred, they're roughly 18 or 20. Yeah, so it's like an eight-year-old going off. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. So no retirement. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace. Don't be that. too fatalistic. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Yeah, that's good, I guess. I've never chosen Morinth over her. Apparently you can, and then Morinth will kill you. If <laughs> you can choose the path to where Morinth kills you, it's very weird. Do you need something? Let's talk. Have a few minutes to talk. If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event, as if you were watching it. 
Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What is that? What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls of metal and plastic? And bad memories? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Uh, that's more than I wanted to know? Eh, yeah, why not? Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. What about memories? You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. <laughs> so you remember every hit? You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. All the guilt. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? Uh, no free will there. My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. I'm going to go with that is kind of ir irresponsible. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. About that memory. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah, uh, that time. Laser dot trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. That was unique. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... No. She was a vivid person. And? Did you take the shot? Not that day. The memory you had before. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Uh, Something about... That a bystander okay, noticed my got spotting that. laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. I should get back to my duties. Shepard. I appreciate these chats we have. You're lonely. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. So I keep pumping the mic today. You're a good man, Thane. The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. I found it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall. Facing the doors. I'm trying to relax. Find my center. Good luck with that thing. I find him to be kind of an odd and sad character. To leave you owe your species existence when other species to be willing to murder for them is an odd thing. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately. But I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. Yep. Oh, I'm definitely interested. Glad to hear it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet. Oh. Apparently she's just going to confirm that we are kind of in a relationship. The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. Okay, what's up? Shepard. Need what's me up? for something? Have you got a minute? 
Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. The, the memes of Mass Effect. Garrus is always calibrating. All the calibrations. Okay, um, we'll go talk to Tali. Although she'll probably just tell me she just go do her stuff. I don't think we're gonna do hers next. Doing jacks would be good. That way, if I don't like barrier, I can just get more ammo. I really want ammo power. Actually, makes a lot of sense. Just kill it off. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. Okay. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. Okay. I'll get back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. We, of course, are going to do that. Pencil blades if we get. I'm pretty sure that there's nothing to do with Krogan. Shepard. I'm going to talk to you. Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, okay. kin, and enemies to fight. That's all for now. Shepard. I kind of wish they had like 20 more dialogues for everyone. Like more than this singing one, but for more people. Because the dialogues are what really brings these games to life. I mean, more conversations with the crew would make you actually care. Liara. Liara I kind of want to hold off on the We'll do Jack, Zaid, and Tali. And then we'll start doing other things for a while. Just to, uh... the others after that, just so we have time to talk to them. Look, the game is down to under 70,000. We are close to 200,000. But, there's not that much left to do. So I don't think it'll be a big deal. And we have lots of places still to explore. Scary. Launching the probe. Things. Okay. We have Ezo. So Launching the probe. Launching the probe. Launching the probe. Launching the probe. It's very likely that I go Probe launched. Because with the less than time recovery of barriers is short. Do that once it's probe launched. Well, thank you. can give it to other people in your squad. Which is good because that might get us Probe away. No.
this in one episode. We made it about half and then go to the next episode. Um, that's all you. Get that. That is your upgraded one. That is your upgraded one. That is your upgraded one. I do think that's an upgraded one. Who do I want to bring with me? I really like bringing Kasumi. But I feel like I should kind of travel somewhere else. Bring Warden. Warden and Kasumi are who I'm bringing to the final one. Okay, barriers. Barrier. 
last for three minutes. That's really good. Uh, I haven't found a better pistol yet, right? Yeah. They really don't have that many gun options. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. Of course. Thermal shielding, standard for Cerberus facilities. Yeah. They build their equipment to last. Assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. So damn. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. I did jacks for the next ones. I did do this for three. If I play like this one, I'll do it. That's a lot of fun. She might have one of the better storylines between the two games. Mainly because I think they did it so much less. They gave her more depth than they gave her. I think they did that for more than two of them. More than this. Great story. Um, uh, we that gun. If you're running around, it's just a better gun to run around. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. Are you sure? Is that really what you want? Okay. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. Unbelievable. Yeah, I think more than one has to a common center facility. Okay, so that's how I'm supposed to go somewhere over here. But it doesn't matter. Gotta ease. Okay, we gotta grab the quick save because we've got quite a bit. Yeah, we're already at 30 minutes. I doubt minutes. I doubt we'll really finish this episode. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew, he won't find out. The elusive. Working outside program parameters, hiding information. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. That is true. But it seems like they didn't want the elusive man to know. I think it turned back on. But I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Could have just given it to him. The same. She chose a dark path. Of course, she was a scared, and frightened child who was being tortured. But I'm still saying she would not choose the good path. She could have. We'll run one down right here. We have. We've been spotted. Killed that one. Fry that one. That could have gone reasonably bad. We did okay. Go see the nurse. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. Yeah. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that's that happened good. here. How often did they do this? 
I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Time with fights. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. So they conditioned you. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a That's fight. That's pretty terrible. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. I'm gonna go with the does. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. Okay, we're not gonna go through that door yet. Because this area we have not like that. And there might be cool stuff in those areas. So let's go up the stairs. Oh, there's a storage crate. Actually, go up there. And yeah, we got 3,000 credits running back. That's worthwhile. We need to make sure we buy all the thingies. It is a rather large facility. Security officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. Apparently, it can. Okay. Oh yeah, this is where we came from. Ah, uh, see. Wait, what is going on there? Up there. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh yeah, kill. Yeah, that's a good question. Sounds like you're not the only person happy with this place. Anything here? there. That's good. It's a big chunk if I choose what I need to get more battle if I don't like barrier. Not to throw Barry up the last couple of minutes. Get ready to fight. Okay. You do that to him. That will work. Just the thing to Just 
why they need a morgue. This was a small facility. Corpses of other subjects analyzed here. Many subjects. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. We're killing people, as we've already discussed. Can I get in there somehow? How do I get back to that PDA? Need a bunch of sniper rounds. Save. I will go a little bit longer. I would like to finish in this episode, but I was looking at the time. I don't know if that's going to be impossible. We have that now. Strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit, it's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. I don't know why you want to blow this place up so much, but I was in a torture dormitory as a child, so they've seen it. Side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. And yeah, they can't, they couldn't see you. So they did not know. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab this. through here when I broke out, but I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Yes, yes it is. That is super true, Jack. Super true. Looks interesting. interesting. Only three. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The 
latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on Zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. Uh, find strength in it. You move on, harder and tougher. But, have you ever thought that maybe you just didn't know what's going on? It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. Really? You were... you were distracted. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Okay, do you think we're going to here? We'll pick up there next time. There's a big fight room, and then we get to our room. But we'll do that then. So, uh, like and subscribe if you have any questions and comments. Or if you're really cool. Otherwise, I will talk to you later. Adios.